Hey, this is Jennifer, and I just want to show you a new extension from EdTech Team that makes giving students feedback in Google Docs so easy. So I'm at their website, checkmarkclass.com, which gives you more information about this extension, and it also gives you a link to the extension in the web Chrome store. So if you select the Get Checkmark, which is the blue box in the middle of your screen, from that website, it's going to take you to the Chrome store where you can install this app, this extension. So you'll notice that mine already says add it to Chrome. If you didn't have it yet, there'd be a blue add to Chrome. You select that and then it's going to show up in your extension bar. And so it's right here all the way to the right. I hover over that little check mark and see that that one is in fact called check mark. When you first install it, it'll be grayed out. So you have to just click on it so that it turns green, which means that it's activated and it's going. So let me just hop over to a, a document. This is a Google Doc and you already see some magic happening here. So I'm just going to click away and show you how this works. So if, I, if I'm a teacher and I'm trying to provide feedback to my students, all I have to do is come into their document that they've submitted to me and highlight a piece that I want to give them some feedback on. And once I've highlighted, I'm going to get that little kind of kind of grayed out, kind of translucent little keyboard. And when I kind of hover up, you'll see these little shortcuts. Each one of these is a shortcut to a comment. So if I hover over, I'll get to see what they're what they stand for. So the C stands for check for capitalization. The F stands for check for fragment. Then you've got some underneath that are other things like detail needed. For instance, that particular thing is missing the actual school. So I'm going to select detail needed. And what happens on the right hand side is a comment is installed with whatever it is that I selected as feedback. So let's try that again. I find something else I want to give them uh, some feedback on. Um, let's say this is repetitive or using that too many times. I'm going to select something else. So I'm going to highlight something else and oh, I need them to put a space there. Make sure that it's highlighted, make a space there, etc. So you see as the teacher is going through and highlighting, you're getting these very quick options for feedback. Now think about how much time it takes to create a comment on the side and type in what you want to say. With this, it's just a matter of highlight and picking the right thing. And then that is given to the students on the side automatically. And just like any kind of comment, if the student comes in and they hover over, they get the option to mark something as resolved or they can always reply back to that particular piece of feedback by just clicking on that piece of feedback. Um, I'm going to just say ask a question. The coming back and forth, a great feedback tool, simple for teachers to throw in a comment and simple for students to resolve or reply to that comment. I am going to start talking about checkmark with every group of teachers I know that are using Google Docs in their classes. What a revolutionary tool. Love Ed Tech Team. Love this new tool, checkmark. I hope you find it useful. Have a great day.